there's thunder and lightning and I was making a joke about dying in this elevator and yet here I am and I'm gonna die. How's this for content? Um, hello. So, I'm currently uh, at work. Um, stop. Hold on. Hello, this is Sam. I'm still in the elevator. Um, I'm still in the elevator. Nobody's come yet. I'm just sitting, you know, heating in the sauna. You can wait. I can what? Um, so I've been here for about 45 minutes. Uh, I called my mom because I'm 100% sure I was gonna die. And I'm having a panic attack and that's really fun. Um, but we're here making content because what's the point of, you know, not making content on trauma? Um, I am losing my mind because there is a thunderstorm right now and there was a lot of lightning and I made a joke. Uh, going down in the elevator that I was like, uh, I hope some Tower of Terror shit happens and the uh, lightning strikes the elevator and I die. And then this happened. Um, so, you know, I want God to know I was just playing. I have things to do. I hope that, you know, if I do die, it's quick and that it's not this bullshit. Because I've written Tower of Terror a bit too many times to be in this situation. So fun. And it's super hot in here. It's always hot in here, as you just heard. It's called the sauna, because it's very warm in here. Um, and I'm kind of losing my mind, and security told me that I can't push any buttons slash MacGyver my way out, so I'm just here sitting. I'm going to film this situation. So, uh, the worst part about this is that I'm not even supposed to be in the elevator. You know, the people working the elevators where I work, we used to have it where there's one person at the bottom and one person at the top. The person at the bottom says the elevator up, and the person at the top says the elevator down. But because, you know, corporations hate paying people, uh, they've shortened it so that there's just one person in the elevator sending it up and down. And I just sent a bunch of people from the top floor down to the bottom floor. So in theory, there should have been nobody in this elevator if it was sent back up to take more people down because we're not sending anybody up right now because we've closed. So there shouldn't have been anyone in this elevator. But I'm here because corporate is awful. I was very much considering quitting before this, and I'm still considering it now. If they ever put me in an elevator ever again, I swear, I would quit on the spot. <laughs> They're not doing this to me. They're not doing this to me. I am losing my mind, and I've been here for forever. So my phone's at like 24% because I didn't charge it when I had my lunch break because I was like, oh, I'm going to get off in like an hour. Don't need to charge my phone. And now I'm having a panic attack because the scariest thing about this is one, the fear that this elevator will just drop and I'll die. Um, the second being- I, The second being, I don't know when these elevator doors are gonna open. Shut up. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Um, I don't know when these elevator doors are gonna open, slash I don't know who's gonna be on the other side, slash what is still gonna be on the other side. Uh, so that's terrifying, because I've seen a lot of horror movies where people, well I haven't seen a lot of horror movies, because I don't watch horror movies, because I'm a little bitch, but I've seen a lot of things where, you know, a door opens and you expect it to be help, but it's just a murderer. So if these if these are my final moments, um, this has been a great ride, y'all. I know my content has been trash, but I've really enjoyed making it. It's been wonderful. Um, to all of my real friends, the ones that I still talk to, uh, y'all are great. Everyone else that thinks that they're my friends, y'all are fake. Kind of. Most y'all are fake. I don't really like you, but that's water under the bridge because I'm dead now. Um, so, I am losing my mind. Very hot. You see, I made um, I made a little hooky thing out of one of the loops on my uh, lanyard, and I was going to, I don't know if you can see it, hold on. I was going to uh, twist the little key locks things on the elevator panel, but uh, they told me not to do that. So now, all of those years of watching those spy movies are wasted, and I've taken off my shoes because it's hot, um, all I have is water, but guess what the temperature of the water is hot because I'm sick. <laughs> um, it's not fun. I want to die. And I want this death to be swift 
and easy. See, every time the elevator makes a noise, I think I'm gonna die. So, legit might just quit after this. Legit might quit on the spot. This isn't cute. This isn't fun. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Corporate is gonna change this, or I'm going to leave. Um, this is fun. This is fun. And I have homework, but it's uh, because I go to an art school. It's all creative homework. And I don't really, I'm not in the mindset to be creative when I'm uh, in the middle of a panic attack. So, the gag is I'm not even that close from the bottom floor. I'm on floor six. Like, it shouldn't be that hard to get me from floor six to floor one. So, what a lo I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like how hot it is in here. I don't even know how it's still so hot in here. Because the only thing that makes it hot in here are the screens. And the screens are off. And they've been off for like 40 minutes. And I'm still so hot. So this isn't fun. Um, I'm going to die. Uh, I'm supposed to work elevator tomorrow. <laughs> and if they even try to put me on elevator, I swear to God, I'm going to quit on the spot. This isn't cute. This isn't fun. I'm going to die. And I, uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I have to work tomorrow, then I have school on Monday. Oh my God, life wants to kill me. Life wants me dead. My therapist is gonna have a failed day with this on Tuesday, my God. But look, now I have like a little hook hand. So if a murderer does come, I am ready to throw hands. But I literally have nothing on me. I have uh, my outfit, I have my phone, and my headphones, and my chopstick, and my badge, um, and my glasses, because I need to see. Um, like you see, for my comfort, I really want to put my shoes on. I mean, I really want to leave my shoes off to the top, but like my anxiety is like, when that murderer comes, you're gonna have to run. So you should put your shoes on. <sighs> yeah, so not having a fun time. I'll give you an update a little bit later because I don't want my phone to die. There's not much for me to really tell you other than I'm just here. Um, about like 10 or so minutes ago, security said it's going to be an hour until I get out. Uh, so that's fun. So elevator people are apparently here and I should be out in a few minutes. Uh, so it wasn't the worst time because it could have been much longer, but I was here for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So too long in my opinion. Okay, double checking my math, I've actually been in here for about an hour, so that's not fun. Um, but that means I got YouTube co content for this week because I have so much homework due on Monday that I can't do because I'm stuck in this elevator and I'm having a panic attack. It's really fun. Um, I feel like I'm going to die. That's really what it feels like in my heart of hearts is that I'm going to die. So that's super fun and this lighting is super not cute. And, you know, just really excited to get out. But apparently the elevator people are here. You know, they should start their work in a few minutes. But how long that work's gonna take, I don't know. Ah, uh, so fun. My mom brought up this really great point that like, we should have elevator engineers in the building since the whole, one of the major factors of my job is this elevator getting people, you know, where they need to go. So if this elevator ever were to break down with guests inside, That'd be such an issue, especially like why just like why don't we have anyone in the building to fix this is kind of crazy. But I'm so glad we don't have people inside. If we had customers inside, oh my god, this would be such a different story. Uh, I would have because I'm already losing my mind, but I would have to pretend to be calm so that everybody else would stay calm and they would be angry and they would expect me to do something about it like I could do anything about it. Um, that would have been not fun. So I'm glad that there's no one else in here and it's just me, but uh, I'm also just not having it.
push the door open. I can try, but I tried before and it didn't really work. Um, so apparently the guy can't open it, and apparently he said it's going to be a little while. Minor technical difficulties. It's been saying a lot for the past hour. Okay, now I can feel that we're moving, like kind of up and down, like someone's jumping in the elevator, but I'm not jumping, so I don't know what's happening, and now I'm extra scared. <laughs> Hope I don't fall and die. Because I remember I watched a YouTube video about like, should you jump if an elevator is falling? Will that not break your fall? And I think the answer to that was no, and you're supposed to lay flat on the ground. But to me, that doesn't make any sense. So I did watch a video to prepare for this very occasion. But I, I don't exactly remember what that video is, and I can't watch it right now because my phone will die. It's at 10%. <laughs> okay, I think they're trying to move me down one floor at a time because before... This had a number next to it. It said six right here. And this panel used to be lit up with the floor number six. And now I feel like we're slowly moving. I think they're, I don't know how they're doing it because I'm not an elevator engineer, but I think that they're slowly moving me down each floor. I think we moved three times, so I might be on floor three. So they might just be able to let me out. But we don't know yet. We just moved again. I'm having a heart attack. I tried to use this to pry open this door and pick this lock. But I only know how to pick regular locks, so uh, this isn't helpful. I don't like this feeling of them. I'm falling. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it when it's in a controlled Disneyland environment when I know that I'm safe because Disney doesn't want you to die. And I don't like it now when they very much don't care about whether I'm okay. <laughs> um, so this isn't fun. <laughs> I think if I'm, if I'm falling like one floor because I feel like I have gone down floors and that's why it no longer shows me on a floor that if I jump for like one floor, then I'll be fine. Right? I should be fine. I hear talking now, and it feels like it's still moving. So, hopefully I get out. I wanna keep this recording to you know, film the moment that I do get out, but I'm also just like losing my mind, and I don't want my phone to die. Um, but, I still have my ring in case this guy is a murderer. Um, so that's fun. It's still super hot in here and I don't know how or why. Don't like this. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. This isn't fun. It's really tempted to just call out of work tomorrow. I don't want to show up, but I know that I need to get paid because I need to pay my tuition. The elevator should have killed me. Don't like this. Don't like it one bit. It is now 9.42, so I am nearing two hours. It's been about an hour and a half that I've been in here. Um, my phone's slowly dying. It's at 9% now. Um, I hope I die before my phone does, because this is awful. And I don't like being here. I was already having a not fun day, but not I've been having a not fun really week, you know, school. And now this and this with school all together because I have to be here because I have to have the money to, you know, pay for my college. Um, so if um, a wonderful billionaire, possibly Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos, uh, could stumble upon this video, know that I am in your city. Uh, I go to school in your city. I pay taxes in your city. So if you want to, you know, help a bitch out, pay for my tuition, that'd be so great. Um, so please do that. That'd be super fun. So that I never have to do this again. I won't do this again. I refuse. I truly, like, before I was like, yeah, I'll do anything that you need me to do because, you know, the, the more versatile you are in the job, you get to, you know, get more hours. But at this point, it's truly not worth it because I am losing. Okay. Nope. He said, he asked me to try to pry open the elevator doors and I said that I couldn't and then he said it will be quote a little while and then he left and I haven't heard from him since. Uh, super fun. I already didn't like, um, like I could tell that like this job holds people down because all of the cool people that work here have left. Like all of the cool people that were like interesting that I like to talk to at my job have left and they've also changed the position so that none of us can really interact with each other while we're working and like 
I get that they want to like stop people from interacting and seeming unprofessional, but like no one thinks that. If I see coworkers talking to each other at an establishment, I'm like, oh, this is a nice place to work. Nobody here like hates each other. That's a wonderful thing. But if you're separating everyone, everyone, it's just not cute. It's not fun. It's not the move. I'm not about this. And all the cool people that work here have left. So I feel like maybe I'm just the next to go. Maybe this is my sign. This is this is the universe being like, sis, here's your out. If you stay after this, you're a little bitch. You might as well leave. So we'll see. I want to be here. Oh, yeah. Here, here's me with my glasses. I think you've seen me with my glasses before. Like in my, um, my New York videos and stuff. I don't usually wear my glasses. But um, taking them off just to film this is annoying. Um, you want to see the elevator? Let's give an elevator tour. Oh, my God. Hold on. This is the elevator. It's a nice, chic carpeting. Nice little flowery designs in the in flowers. Uh, it has nice wood paneling among the silver and the handrails. Uh, there are screens lining the walls that make the elevator very warm. And then there's lights and music panels on the wall. And, it, um, and then there are the doors that I cannot cry open. They're very long and this is the panel. And um, the, the place isn't like small, but this is as far as it goes. Those are my feet, covered in flower. But yeah, if you want to see more elevator tours from me, just like hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. Um, but I'm not having a fun time. I want to get out. I want to get out. I want to get O-U-T out. I want to get out. Okay, now my phone's at 1% and I'm hoping that if I keep it filming, that I'll catch something and that it won't die. That's the hope. Um, but I also just want to need to keep it charged so that I can text my mom when I'm free. Because I called my mom right after this happened because I was almost certain I was going to die and I was like, I want to say my goodbyes. Um, so that's super fun. I'm still here. Still waiting. Still sort of feels like I'm moving down. But I don't know what floor I'm at because it won't tell me what floor I'm at. I just want to get out. It's so hot in here and it's, uh, I don't like this. I want to leave. 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 What I'm really worried about is that they'll take me to the basement. Because that's where you die. Because I know that there's a basement. Because I remember when we were working, when I was working elevator yesterday, that I was looking down in the hatch because the light was on, which it usually isn't, and there was someone down there. So I think that they're taking me down to the basement. Which is super scary. Hello? So, uh, we're moving. I think I'm on the ground floor. It just moves some more. I'm like super scared. Like, like horror movie, something's gonna come at me and like literally stab me open scared. I'm fucking terrified right now. I don't like this. I don't like this not knowing. Are we, are we, are we done? Can someone open the door please? Please, please someone open the door. I only got to floor six. So the gag is that if I would have just stayed downstairs a little bit longer, I wouldn't have been stuck. If I just slacked off a little bit more, if I wasn't trying to, you know, get back upstairs and help the good people, I would have been fine. This is a lesson, kids. Only look out for yourself. Because in times of crisis, you're all that you have. There's no one else here. <laughs> you're all that you have. So, super fun. Love this for me. I'm gonna die. I wanna die. Every time I hear someone else. Every time I hear someone else on this radio, I want to scream. Because I know that their issues, not as bad as mine. I know that you all want to get home, but I physically cannot leave the building. Like, during this whole crisis... You all right in there? I'm physically fine, I'm just freaking out. Okay. Okay.
Uh, the elevator operator technician person is back and he is trying to open the door, but I believe I'm on a different floor. That rhymed. <laughs> Spitting bars, you know what? I'm gonna die. They want me to go in another fucking elevator. They really want me to take a different set of elevators back upstairs. Are they crazy? They really want me to quit. Yeah, this isn't fun. Might just guess this with my therapist and be like, yeah, I can't work with elevators anymore. It's just not my thing. I guess I'm taking the stairs from now on. That must be so nice. That's actually, that's actually, yeah, le making lemonade out of lemons. This might be not liking lemonade. Um, maybe I'll just take the stairs everywhere from now on because I don't like elevators. The idea of having this happen to me again, awful. <laughs> I don't know what time it is because I can't stop filming. I think I'm moving again. Um, for fear that my phone will die. So, um, I think it's been two hours. It doesn't feel like two hours, you know, when you're in a blind panic, it doesn't feel like two hours. Um, but I know that this will be a memory that I will remember for all of my life. And that, um, this isn't even the worst, this probably is the worst part, but this isn't, I'm not even done when I get out. When I get out, I have to get home in the thundering lightning storm that stuck me in here. <laughs> I have to get home. And my car isn't even in this building. I take the bus to my car that will then drive me home. Yeah, I gotta work somewhere else. This, no, we can't do this. We can't be doing this. We cannot. I may come in tomorrow just because I don't quit on the spot because I feel like they, like at least the supervisor is trying to get me out. I don't want to do that to him because that's a dick move. But um, my friend is working tomorrow. The friend that like, she says she got me this job, but she really didn't. But like we work together. I'm gonna work with her tomorrow and we're gonna talk and we're gonna see, maybe we'll both just quit. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, hello. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Oh uh, yeah, they're working on that. The, the engineers are here, it'll take a while. Okay, do you know how long it's gonna be? I don't know, but uh, but they're still working on that. Hardly, they are hardly working on, on that. They take, uh, take you out of there. Okay, well just, you know, tell them to hurry up. <laughs> These are minor technical difficulties. <laughs> Yeah, so they're working on that. Uh, uh, I'll be online with you uh, to, just uh, to ask you if, if everything is alright. Yeah, I'm physically fine. Just really want to get out. Uh, uh, I know, that, but, but it will take like a while. I don't know the engineering system. So you can just be patient for a while. Thank you. I've been patient for two hours, but I guess I'll just be here because there's nothing else I can do. Uh, they're, they're working on it, man. I mean, and they're just, uh, one or two, three or four engineers are right now here. They're just working really serious on that issue to take you out of there. Well, that they should do it quickly. That would be nice. I get the fuck out. I want to die. I want to die. How are there four engineers here? Other four engineers, and they can't get me out. They've been here for like 30 minutes. How fucking hard is it to open a goddamn elevator door? It's like a physical strike thing. If there's four of you, how the fuck did four of you not open a goddamn door? Why? Why did you build an elevator that you can't physically open yourselves? Why? Why the fuck? <sighs> fucking lose it. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna go fucking feral. I'm gonna lose it. But like, the clickbait title of this video is gonna be so good. It's, I was stuck in an elevator for two hours mental breakdown because it's all authentic. Um, Cause I am losing my mind. Like, I will ram my head against this if we hit the three hour mark. Stay tuned for the three hour mark to watch me bang my head against this wall. <laughs> Donate to my Patreon. I don't have one, but like, if Jeff Bezos does want to give me money, I will open a Patreon. I will give you my Venmo, my Cash App, my PayPal. Like, send me money, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, other multi-millionaires. Well, they're billionaires, but I don't know other billionaires. I just, uh, Google? Google! Google! Give me money. I'm just here so I can go to school, an art school. Like an idiot who wants to follow their dreams. Just give me some money. 
I'm here in a guest service position to help the people. And if the people could help me, that'd be great. The noise has started. We're moving. We've hit the floor. The noise is starting again. I love the noise. It doesn't heighten my anxiety in any way, shape, or form. Oh, no, we haven't hit the floor. So we were going up? Oh. Hello? Hello? I'm out, but there's no one here. This is Sam. I'm on the 74th floor. Can somebody please come up and get me, please, please, please? <laughs> Oh, my supervisor, thank you so much. I will fucking blow my brains out right now. I am losing my mind. This is the scariest room to empty out on. There's just restrooms. I think, I don't even know where this is. I'm losing my mind. But I'm out. You see, this is the prison that I was in for two hours. Now I'm free. But am I free? Because, like, there's no one here. I did not think we were going up. Why the fuck would they send me up from the 6th floor to the 74th floor when they could have just sent me down? And why is there no one here? It says use exit, but I, do you see an exit? I see women, men, and a door. I don't want to go through random doors. I want to not do that. I want to wait for my supervisor in this safe, safe area to know that, you know... I won't walk into a murder den. That's all I want to do, is just not walk into a murder den. I cannot get up to 74, but security guard is on the way. 10 4, thank you. So I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. How, why, how do you not get to 74? I just wanna leave. I just wanna leave. Yeah, it seemed like we were moving a bit too much to be going to the bottom floor, because I feel like we went, like, for like a while to hit from six to one, but apparently we're going up, which is the weirdest thing. Why are we going, why, why? Why couldn't they just send me down? It's better than the basement, I guess, but is this really better than the basement? It's so creepy. Like, I don't like this. Please let it be a security guard that I know. Please let it be that guy. Cause I know he's on duty. I hope it's not that idiot girl. I hope it's the guy. Cause I know he's chill. I just want to not die. I just want to not die. I hear footsteps. Please don't kill me. I have my shoes on, though. So I, and I have my water bottle to hit you over the head with. I'm ready to run. Uh, I'm ready to throw hands. Um, but I've been filming this for 13 minutes. So I definitely have I definitely have been stuck in the elevator for two hours. So that's fun. I wonder which door they're going to come out of. I think it's going to be this door. But I also don't know what that door could be. Because none of these say fire escape, which is the weirdest thing. Because this thing, you know, says in case of fire, use the stairs. But then there's no sign that says, these are the stairs. Um, cute, fun. I love this. Um, I do feel like when I get home, I'm going to break down in a panic attack and cry. But my body's right now in survival mode, so I can't do that right now. Um, but I will. I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. Super fun. Imagine if I just stand here, because I'm standing right in front of the elevator, if it just like drops behind me. I would scream. I would scream. I'm never using these elevators again, by the way. Never. They can't make me. They can't make me. <laughs> never doing that to myself. I'm using the employee elevators and the employee elevators only. Because there's no other way to get there. There's no other way. Like, you physically cannot get up to the floor that we work at any other way. Um, so that's fun. I love that for me. But at least the employee elevators isn't like, oh, I hear keys. Is it security? Hello? Yeah. Hello! <laughs> oh my goodness, hello. Okay, so the, we just stopped on floor 46. 
still in four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which I think is weird because I was only on floor six. Yeah. So I'm like, why did they just send me down? But like, that's that's not my problem. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that you were there. Huh. Well, that's that's it's happening. You, yeah. You should you should not have any hard feeling about that. It's not my fault. Yeah. I know it because I know you were the patient who said, "Get me out of there." I said, I'm, I'm sorry for that. It's not my fault. It's just it's all because of thunder and lightning. Yeah, I know. All the elevators just got a problem, and we've got a lot of leaks in the building. So, yeah, so you're feeling all right? Physically, I'm fine. Okay, I, I know. So let me tell you something. Just one time, a lady she was trapped in the elevator. She was crying. You you are so brave. Oh, I will no. cry. I just won't cry right now. Okay? Yeah, so so she was crying. Okay, if I die, give my dog to someone else. Okay. Hello, I'm alive. <laughs> Hello. 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 I am. Hello. 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 I'm gonna die in there. Yes. <laughs> so did I. So it is now Thursday. Uh, at about 10 a.m. because I just woke up. Um, I just finished editing that video, so I want to give a quick update about what's happened after slash since. All of the footage that you just saw, um, I am alive, sadly. Um, no one's giving me any money, which is really the crime of it all. Um, fun fact, still never met that elevator tech. I have no idea who's working on the elevator. They never told me anything, never told me their name, never saw them. I just, after that clip, I just, I left and I went home. Um, I still work there, because I need money. Um... Don't really want to. I still haven't set foot in that elevator. I refuse to. They can't make me. Um, still have to take elevators places though. And I'm like, I'm, I don't like being in elevators. It makes me very uneasy. Um, but like, I'm generally okay. Talk to my therapist about it. I just need to, sh she says I just need to remind myself every time I'm in, I'm in an elevator. It's like, oh, of all the times I've been in elevators, you know, this is all, this is bad things only happen one time. But the way my brain works, it's like, yes, but you've been in that specific elevator only so many times, and that one time, that bad thing happened. So it's only that elevator that's evil. So that's fun. I love that for me. Uh, afterwards, I didn't sleep well. Like, I had to go to work the next day, and I only slept for maybe, like, a few hours because I just, like, couldn't sleep because I was so anxious. Uh, that was fun, and I'm just now barely getting to sl getting, like, sleep back into my life because yesterday I had, like, this whole presentation for school, so I stayed up really late, and I only had two hours. So I slept the second I got home yesterday, and I, I like, just woke up. So I slept for a good, like, 12 hours, which was really nice. My body is very thankful for that. So that's why this video's out at noon and not at 10, because life just beat like that. So I hope you liked that riveting um, section of real life content. I tried to cut out as much personal information about my work as possible, but if you know the area and you listen to the context clues, you probably know where I work. Uh, don't mention it. Don't mention it to me or to anyone else or in the comments because you will get deleted because I don't want to be fired. Like, I know after all that I said, I probably do kind of want to not work there, but, like, I don't want to be fired. That's not cute. But they didn't have me sign an NDA. So, I'm assuming that this video should be fine, but, like, I just I just hope that it doesn't make the rounds that it gets to, like, management, and they're like, you need to take the video down, and I'm like, mm, how about you pay me for my silence? We should resume with our regularly scheduled content next week, because I should have more time. Like, this week, like, either Thursday, either today after school or Friday after school to, like, film some more choices. So hopefully we'll get back to that. But, like, hopefully I never have to make one of these videos again. That That's my big hope. You know, as, as interesting as this content was, you know, shaking up the format of what I do, I don't want to ever have to do this again. <laughs>